اعزائي الطلاب السلام عليكم آه اليوم وي كونتينيو اور تشابتر اباوت اللي هو اللوبينج ستراكشر ان ذا لاست ان ذا لاست ليكتشر وي توكد اباوت يوزينج لوبس اند وي هاف ثري ديفرنت تايبس اوف لوبس اند وي ار توكينج اباوت سيمانتيك نوت سينتاكس سو وي هاف Uh, the first is while and in while, then we have uh, uh, loop until and we have a counter. So our talk was about while and now we will take an example. Uh, create algorithm, so we need to make an algorithm steps to solve the problem, a solution of, of our solution. And flowchart, which is visual representation to the algorithm, to find the average age of all the students in a class, okay? In a class, so we, we assume that we don't know how many students we have in this class, okay? So we have to understand the problem first, finding the average, then we need to find the sum, and we need to, the sum which is accumulating, we took it in the last lecture, and we need to find the count, so we can divide the sum, by the count, then we get the average, yes? So, the first thing, we should initialize a variable sum to be, because we are summing, it should be zero, initialize to zero, and um, because we are counting, we will start our count from zero. Each student will sum its, uh, his age, we should increment the count by one, and his age will be added to the sum, okay? So before we start our loop, we need a condition to start our loops. This is why we, uh, before starting the loop, we enter the first student age as a primary read to make it as a condition, okay? So as we will see uh, soon, uh, if there is no primary read, if we didn't read the age before the while loop, we, we don't know how the condition will be, okay? So, this is what we call the primary. It's, we read before the condition, so the condition will depend on the if, and if it's valid, then it will keep going until we enter invalid age, then it will stop, okay? The second thing is uh, the next read, will be before the end of the loop for two reasons. Because first, uh, before we add it to the sum, because it's in the end of the loop, it go on to the condition. If the, con if the age follow the condition, then we add it to the sum. If not, we get out of the condition. Okay, let's see how this uh, problem can be solved using Lua algorithm this is the algorithm our solution or our module called the average is okay first we initialize variable sum to be zero we need to add all the is to the sum and the counter we initialize it to be zero because we need to the counter to count how many students we enter so we enter the first age before the loop, and the loop will depend on the age. This is why we enter the age before the loop. While the age not equal zero, we don't have age equal zero. So we, as long as the age not equal zero, this loop will keep going, okay? So what's statements uh, belongs to the uh, loop? Look, look at the indent here. They are these two or these three statements. First sum, we will sum the age that we entered here to the sum, which is zero. Then, because we entered an age, and then we have to increment the counter by one, so counter will equal the counter plus one, okay? Then we enter an age. Before we add it here, we go back to the loop and see if the age not equal zero, then we sum this age to the, uh, we, the age to the sum and increment the counter and we will keep going doing this until if we enter zero then h zero zero not equal zero 
false, then we go out of the loop. When you go out of the loop, you calculate the average. How we calculate the average? The average usually equal sum, which is summation of all A's, divided by the counter, which is the number of the A's or the number of the students, okay? Then we print the A's. This is our algorithm. And as we uh, said before, the algorithm, step one, two, three, four, five, okay? How to express it using flow chart? In number of fact, we here start with ellipse, which um, called the average is. Then we start with this rectangle, sum equals zero. Another rectangle, counter equals zero. Then we have to enter. So we, we put this parallelogram. So we have entered, to, entered the edge. Then we go to the while. While the edge not equal zero. If true, then we add this edge to the sum and store it in the sum again, okay? And the counter will be incremented by one. So here we are accumulating and here we are counting. Why? Because here we add a variable to the sum. Here we add a constant one. So this is counting and this is accumulating. Then the user enter an age, a new age. If the new age is not zero, then we continue. If the new age is zero, then zero not equal zero will be false. Then we go out and calculate the average, which equals some divided by the counter. Then we output print, then it's parallelogram, print the average. Then we end. Okay. So this is how our uh, program will work. And this is the flow chart for this problem. We have another type of uh, looping, which is a repeat until. So a repeat until is it's similar to the uh, whole while loop. In repeat until we work, we will repeat instructions while, il, 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 while the condition is false. When the condition became true, then we stop, okay? So this is one difference between repeat until and between while. So both are loops and we repeat instructions. But in the while we use the condition is true and it will stop the while when the condition became uh, false. In the repeat until, it will keep working while the condition is false and stops when the condition is true, okay? The second difference, the condition in the uh, while loop at the start. So if the condition is false for, from the first time, in our moral condition falls, Martin instructions will never be executed. Uh, zero times will be executed, will never be executed. Repeat until, the condition at the end. So even if the condition is true, it will execute the statements. Then if the condition is true, we exit. So the minimum time of repeat until is one execution for the instructions. The minimum time for the while loop is zero if the condition is false from the first time. Okay, so at least Whatever the condition is, at least repeat until will be executed one time. At least Y will be executed zero times. This is a difference between Y and repeat. So let's see how the format of the repeat until we have here the statement repeat. Here we are not talking about language, we are talking about semantic. So, in the matter of fact, if you go to C++ and Java, you will find it it's do while or something like this. So, repeat, then instructions, until the condition or conditions became true. So, until while the condition is false, it will keep repeating, 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 until the condition one or conditions became false. If they became false, we uh, became true, we exit. So while it's uh, false, we will keep repeating. If the condition in the repeat until is uh, true, we exit to the next structure and we exit the repeat until loop, okay? 
here we have brackets and uh, identification. Here's what's the instructions that should be repeated. Here, the ident is shifted to the right, and the right is shifted brackets between the repeat and the until conditions. Okay. So, how can we do a flow chart for a repeat until? So, we start from any point of flow chart A. We write here repeat. Not here, we didn't write it inside any type of not in the diamond like while and uh, whatever. We write it beside the flow chart repeat. But we will repeat instruction one, instruction two. Then we come to the condition, until condition. If the condition is false, then we go back and repeat these instructions. Until condition false, we go and repeat. If the condition is true, then we exit the repeat until, okay? So here we can see the difference between a while and between a repeat. The while, we have to check the condition, if it's true, we execute the instructions or repeat them. Here, we execute without condition the first time. Then we come and see the condition. If it's true, then we exit. If it's false, we continue repeating, okay? So you need to understand the difference between the while and while and between a repeat until uh, structure. So for example, here we have an, uh, uh, another form of the repeat until is in the structured old language instruction instruction f condition then continue else go to 10 to 10 this means we should yes repeat we had to false else false else we go to 10 go to 10 then we repeat these instructions if the condition is true then continue continue then we will go and exit the instruction of the repeat until. So here, for example, A, instruction, instruction, it will be executed, whatever the condition is. Then we go to the condition. If it's true, we exit to the next. If it's false, we go to instruction 10, go to 10. So we repeat the instructions again and again, okay? So this is another representation of repeat until. When we should use a repeat until? We use the repeat until the first thing, like while, when, you, when we don't know how many, how many times the loop will be executed. So we use a repeat until. If we want the loop to be executed at least once, يعني بغض النظر عن الكونديشن, أنا بدي الانستركشنز يتكرروا مرة واحدة على أقل, you will you need you will use اللي هي repeat until. لأنه في الوائل uh, إذا كان condition false ما راح يتفقوا نهائيا instructions. So if you need them to be executed at least once, you uh, use repeat until and you don't know the condition for repeating until after the instructions is processed. يعني why we should use uh, execute the instructions? Then check the condition because these instructions condition okay? So we have to execute instructions first, then we form the condition okay? So let's see our program that we make it finding the age of students using until. So Here's the algorithm, sum equal zero, initialization, the counter equal zero, enter age, repeat, sum equal, sum plus age, the counter equal, the same body, counter plus one, enter age, until the age equal zero. If the age equal zero, true, then we exit. If it's false, then we go and repeat again. We will keep repeating until we enter zero, then if you enter zero, it will not be sum. So we go out and the average will be sum divided by counter. Then print the average. 
So if you want to represent it using a low flow chart, we start with ellipse with average age, then sum equals zero, then execute second instruction counter equals zero, then input parallelogram, which is enter age, then sum equals sum plus age. لسا ما عملنا أي شيء في condition. The counter equal counter plus one. Enter age. Then we go to the condition until the age equals zero. Okay. We had to force. We repeat. Go to repeat these instructions. We keep repeating them until the condition became true. When you enter age equals zero, then we exit and calculate the average and output print the whole average. In the parallel graph, okay, and so this is the repeat until it's very similar to while with two differences. At least it will be executed the instructions one time. بغض النظر عن condition true or false. The second thing is we work while we will repeat while the condition false. We stop when the condition is true, okay. So. This is the repeat until next class will be a little automatic counter loop. Thank you and see you next time, inshallah.